<laughs> Alright guys, we're gonna do a quick uh, Q and A. You guys, uh, uh, you guys probably won't be able to see that, but you guys ask as much questions on Instagram. Um, I mean, there's not too many, so we'll probably answer all of them. Um, we'll just get right into this. Not even gonna introduce ourselves. We're just gonna jump straight to your questions because we think that's gonna be ten times more entertaining than us talking about our broken ass cars. <laughs> there, this guy is broken. There, oh, there. Oh, broken oh, ass cars. Oh. My car's not broke. My oh, wait, did you guys see what I got? <laughs> Are 2J swaps the most overrated and overdone mod? Danny, what do you think? I don't think it's the most overrated. I like it, personally. I still think you can get some good power games out of it still. I mean, can we mention LS swaps? I know. I'm overrated. Sure. I was going to say that, but I didn't want to upset people, but you overrated. know. Yes, LS really swaps. Reliable, but and overdone. Overdone, for sure. Yeah, you know, we got... I mean, every fucking... But you put LS in anything, you know? Right, but cheap and reliable, LS. I don't know too many people who do 2J swaps. Yeah, I don't know anybody but they personally. Are. Second guy asked, how fast can your car go? <laughs> <laughs> how fast? Cool Gamer 644 V2. <laughs> Yo, shout out to you. Fast. <laughs> <laughs> are we fast, I guess? I don't know. I don't know what else you can say about how fast our cars can go. Yeah, above yeah. the speed limit. <laughs> above the speed limit sometimes. They all do exactly the speed limit because we don't break laws. Oh, yeah. For sure. Yeah, no, we don't. No. Sorry. No. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> How did you get into JDM cars? Oh. I mean, like everybody, you know, um, Fast and Furious, uh, Gran Turismo, kind of oh, throwing damn. your phones on the floor, <laughs> uh, Need for Speed for sure. I don't know, I didn't have like a PlayStation 2 until like the PS3 came out. <laughs> <laughs> so it was all just too fast, too furious. Every time it was on, uh, what channel is it? USA? Yeah, it was USA. <laughs> they used to play it this, every Friday. Until this day they still play My it. My ass was in front of the TV watching that video. Oh, that was pretty much it. On the ground, the fast and furious. I don't got my shit. Dalton used to come over with a uh, Most Wanted for the 360. Okay. And. That's about it. We used to just drift Supras into walls and... Gotcha. Thoughts on your truck? Uh, thoughts on my truck? Uh, on his truck, yeah. Thoughts on your truck. And that's... And black, like, dot, and white. <laughs> kind of, my uh, truck's better. <laughs> <laughs> your, your truck is uh, very white and black, to say the least. Yeah. <laughs> what is a good drift car? Good drift car is one that's probably not the same color as the rest of the car. <laughs> <laughs> Makes really cool noises, and if you're in Saudi Arabia, Toyota Camry is doing 150 on the express. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not sure we've all seen the clip. Yeah, we've all seen. They that. seem to be the best drift car. So Toyota Camry, if you're asking. In the middle of the highway, of all things. Never, they never have rush hour there. No, I, it looks like they're in the middle of the desert. No rush hour. They say fuck it. Let's just drift everywhere. Well, I mean, everyone, you know, 240, 350Z, uh, probably some BMWs you can get. Just don't pay the drift tax. Not worth it. Really. Yeah, if you're gonna get a 350, you can probably find find a really shitty one that you could drift on if you really wanted to. Um, but leading up, is, is 240 a good car to learn on? No? I would say yeah. The, what do you want to learn exactly? Just any car is a good car to learn on. Yeah, I mean, wider the the wider the wheelbase, the easier it's gonna be to get sideways. So Miatas may be a little tight. Um, cappuccinos, if you have one probably wouldn't work very well either. I mean, if you think about drifting as 240, and like, it's like the easiest. It's a staple in drifting. Yeah, I mean, like, drifting in 240 is like RX-7s and LS1s. They just, <laughs> <laughs> they just come stock with the car. You yeah, know? they just come stock right in the car, so. How long did it take you to get the R32? All right, so the bad thing about me getting the R32 was I didn't import it, I didn't get it from an importer, I didn't, go through a special bank or anything i pretty much it was on craigslist well yeah <laughs> it, it was on craigslist it was on craigslist but the thing is like i looked in, at top rank i looked at uh hp imports is that what it is yeah, hp so. logic hp logic something like that i looked at all of those importers and i and i did find cars that i wanted of course but i never looked at craigslist cause who, who would have thought there would be an r32 on craigslist of all places but i did I gave up and I said I found one on, on Craigslist. It was crazy clean for being in Chicago, but yeah, it was literally 30 minutes from my house. I went to go see it. It was probably the cleanest one I've ever seen. 
and anywhere. And uh, yeah, I literally bought it from the guy that was like 30 minutes away from my house. I was, okay. supposed, I was supposed to go far for that car too. But can we talk about what really happened when we went to go look at the GTR the first time? My man pulled into a gas station and goes, hey man, I don't want this guy thinking I'm poor. So drive my Honda for the rest of the way there. <laughs> and facts. <laughs> yours. Facts. That I did like. <laughs> we were like five minutes away from the guy's house. The strangest thing ever. But, you know, being a real one, I looked at him like, yeah, give me the keys, I'll drive this here. So yes. Yeah, uh, five minutes away from his house, we pulled, we did pull into a gas station, and I did tell Jeff, like, hey, can you just grab my car? You want it, it, my Honda at the time was really <laughs> run down, rusted. I didn't want him to pull up and thinking, this guy's not going to have the money for the car if he's driving this. But if he's got a broke friend, he probably has the money for the car. <laughs> <laughs> so he drove it the, the rest of the way, and when we got there, I mean, I was at awe how crazy clean the GTR was, and... Yeah, I mean, I just told him I was gonna buy it, and that's it, plain and simple. I didn't go to no special bank, no importer, no nothing. But I did like look at forums. I did look at, I did contact people to see if I wanted to go that route, which I was going to. But it, I found one thirty away from my house. I mean, how can you beat that? Uh, you want to tell them about the saving process? Exactly how long you saved for? All right, so. No, like I saved probably like four or five years, but I had a uh, Lancer rail yard that I had for like probably like four years that I kind of built and made to a show car. And I sold that and I got most of my money and I saved for like two years. I didn't do nothing at all. I mean like when people think, when I tell them I, don't, I didn't do anything, I did absolutely nothing. I didn't go out, people, my, these guys were like, hey, let's go out to eat. I didn't go out to eat. I drank water most of the time. Uh, so I just saved all the money I can and this car came out the blue and luckily I had like money at the time and it was perfect timing and then the guy was like I'm ready to sell and then I was ready to buy so that's pretty much how uh, we got another question uh, best first scar obviously my car I'm just being an asshole other than a Civic and an Integra uh, best first car best first car I mean my first car was a 98 <laughs> Jetta uh, <laughs> <laughs> what was it? A Jetta GL or something? GLI. GLI, something like that. But this car got great gas mileage. This heater, this heater had a beater, man. It was great. It had everything you could think of. <laughs> All the windows didn't work. But it was a great first car. Like, I can't beat that. It, it, it saved a bunch of gas. Uh, I had a 98 Neon and I got really good at changing valve cover gaskets. Because <laughs> um, it would pop one every, you know, thousand miles. It also would die out randomly, <laughs> and for some reason the only way to get it to start was you had to hop out and hit the top of the valve cover with a drumstick a couple times and fire right back up. Damn, really? Every morning? No, no, you're just cruising down the street. Just... <laughs> and you gotta hop out and just tap it with the drumstick, bro. You'd hit it with anything else, wouldn't work. Hit it with the drumstick, start like, doesn't even matter. Cheap right? and reliable. Cheap and reliable, I mean, like, if parts are easy to get for you, and they're cheap and then you can afford it. I mean, that's basically the best first car you can get. Yes, people say Hondas and, and Integras, but why do people say that? People say that it's because it's cheap and reliable. Cheap and reliable. I mean, you can get the, you can get parts anywhere, anywhere. Craigslist, off rubber, you can go anywhere. There'll be parts up. Yeah, that's facts, pretty much. What's your dream car? There's a car I'll never own, it's a P1, but it's, if I woke up one day and it was in my garage, I'd be happy as fuck. <laughs> <laughs> Just a raw welt Porsche, probably like a 966, probably. You know, some 80s air cooled, big turbo Porsche stuff. I can't wait until we have like 500,000 subs and like you have one in your house. All right. That'd be so sick. Then we go back to the market right, right now, um, November 9th. November 9th. 18. <laughs> Crispy, if you're watching this, you're going, to, <laughs> you're going to film my RWB video. Don't worry about it. I got you. For basic, man. I, I always. I already have a R32, on the R34 for me would have been like, for sure, for sure, like what I've always wanted. I I can see why people love GTR so much from from owning the GTR, but R34 would be like my dream car. And I still want. I'm still waiting for the day where I can sit in one and drive it both. So I'm still waiting for that day. Legally, yeah. Legally, yeah. Yeah, Z2 and R34 would be fucking yeah. amazing, bro. I'd rather have a Porsche. 
Yeah, right, we'll go to the next question. <laughs> <laughs> when do we get a video of you guys getting sideways? Um, I, mean, I mean, he's the only one that can go sideways. I mean, I can go somewhat sideways, but... I did ju It did just snow, so maybe we'll take the RSTI out, do a couple uh, <laughs> spinny boys, and, you know, just for you, Dalton. Just go waste the gas and just put it in the car. <laughs> I'll give you the three dollars. <laughs> Damn, we can go down the block. <laughs> uh, are you gonna start regularly uploading on YouTube? I mean, that's the plan, you know. Yes. If you guys show us love and we get views and you guys like what we do, we'll definitely keep posting. But you gotta be patient because it is winter now here in good old Chicago. So yeah, if you saw the intro to the video, you you see that it's it's Snowy. pretty fucking cold out. Yeah, it's fucking and cold. And it's barely November, so uh, we'll definitely we'll definitely get videos out though. We got crazy shit planned for I mean, all of us. I mean, one thing I'm gonna say is like just <laughs> just hit that bell button <laughs> and get those notifications because we don't know when we're gonna put up videos, but hopefully weekly. Yeah, we'll try. Weekly. We'll, we'll try it. We'll definitely. Yeah, try it weekly. It may just be shit posting, but I mean, yeah. we'll definitely just follow worse. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, I mean, it'll be dope. Why are you cutting up those perfectly good fenders? I assume you're talking to me because my fenders are perfect and I had to cut them. No, I'm just kidding. I'm like, <laughs> just talking about my car not having fenders at the moment. Um, so, doing since the accident, I decided to ditch. The S14 front end completely, Zinky Cookies, both of them, and I'm going S15. Um, and instead of ordering the fiberglass origin fenders like everybody has, um, there's a, a, somewhere on Illinois Car Enthusiast Facebook group, there's a like 200 comments of me trolling this guy, trying to get him to sell me uh, the fiberglass fenders, but he wouldn't budge, so I ended up uh, getting a set of stock metal fenders off of an S15. And uh, my buddy down at Wicked Garage, Oz, is uh, going to come up, fix the body lines, and uh, weld them back together for me. So I'll have stock metal fenders for the S15 front end. Rare. Super dope. Only a handful of people actually do the metal conversion. And no, I'm not going to pickle rip, wrap mine like T-Pain did. <laughs> Are you sure? Of, yeah. Fuck, fuck Rick and Morty. Might wrap it like Bender, though. So. Oh, damn, that'd be kind of right. Damn. And then tandem I'm with T Pain. I'm gonna have to cut that. <laughs> hey, T Pain, if you're watching. <laughs> when is the S15.5 gonna be ready? I mean, it'll start up right now, but uh, probably beginning of spring. It'll be painted, it'll be one color, the full kit will be on. Um, wired, wiring Specialties just sent me. The little clips I need to get the headlights functioning how they should so I don't have my turn signals flashing through my projectors and all that shit. Um, so hopefully we're going to say March 13th. Um, that's going to be... You put a date on it? Put a date on it. Damn, dude, that's, that's hard, bro. You can put it. March 13th, let's all right, go. Alright, alright, all right, March 13th. Watch. March 13th, there's going to be a blizzard calling it now. <laughs> <laughs> But yeah, so for the rest of winter, once the fenders are back on, it's going to be parked, tucked away quietly. Um, and then once once it gets nice out, we're going to get it painted one color, and it'll be beautiful. We'll have 300,000 scrubs subs by then. <laughs> some scrubs, yeah. Yeah, some we'll scrubs. have some scrubs, too. We'll all be, we're all going to go get nursing degrees and be in scrubs <laughs> for that episode. Yeah, we're all going to own Porsches because we have the money for it, because, you know. <laughs> yeah, Porsches and scrubs, they go hand in hand. <laughs> Alright, we're gonna get you guys some uh, pictures of the car. We'll definitely film the fenders being put out. Yeah, oh, definitely. definitely. For sure. We'll get we'll get a nice clip. That'll be another video for you guys. Um, we'll push it out, make it look like it's rolling still. It'll be so make sure you guys sub, like, hit the bell, and we'll get you some videos. That's 14 right now. Yeah. <laughs>
All right, guys, thanks, thanks for watching the video. Hope you guys liked the Q&A. Hopefully we answered your question. I think we got them all. Oh, actually, uh, pancakes or waffles? Oh, 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 oh damn. 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 Uh, pancakes are fire, but I'm gonna go waffles. Pancakes. Uh, I'm gonna go waffles. Oh, waffles. Waffles. Oh, waffles. Pancakes. All right, thanks, guys. Uh, hope you guys like video of the uh, S14. Uh, 25. Soonish. Soonish. Thanks for watching, guys. We'll catch you next time.